Okay, everybody, welcome as you're filing in. Uh, very excited to see you all today and join us for this amazing webinar with Tony Parker, who's going to share some incredible tidbits about her amazing life as she has been traveling on this spect in this spectacular van, which you can see on the cover page here. <laughs> And I got to say, it's one of my personal favorites. So as you're filing in, just let us know where you're watching from. And with that, we're going to jump in and get going. So um, tonight we are talking the traveling entrepreneur, how to create a lifestyle of <clears throat> freedom and adventure, excuse me, with an online business. And come on, slides. There we go. So. If you're struggling um, or have you been struggling to find that work-life balance that allows you to take time off for vacations, you know, having freedom and the means to travel and engage in your favorite activities is not reserved just for the wealthy. If you're looking for or looking to earn an income without being tied to a nine to five um, job, an online business is a perfect solution. In this webinar, we're gonna talk about the business opportunities that you can explore that will provide you with flexibility to earn anytime, anywhere, no matter what you're doing. So here's what we're gonna cover today. Today, we're going to cover the benefits of an online business, how to choose the right business opportunity for you, what you need to start your own business, how to avoid some of the common mistakes that many people um, fall into, and of course, we'll cover a couple extra tidbits today. So um, I am extremely excited to introduce Tony Parker. So Tony, our guest speaker, she loves to explore and fill her life with adventure. She's a hiker, a kayaker, road tripper extraordinaire who loves to be outside and take long walks on the beach. Um, before she was introduced to Shackley, Tony was a young stay-at-home mom who always felt wiped out and spent in the afternoons or spent her afternoons on the couch trying to muster the energy to accomplish all of her tasks. And for anybody who's been a mother out there, I'm sure you feel, <laughs> you feel that one. Um, Shackley changed everything for her, setting her life on a wonderful tra trajectory of adventure supported by a residual income. She has learned that the first step is to feel better uh, or is to feel better tomorrow than we do today, which helps us create a more vibrant life. And this also gives her the opportunity um, to be a <clears throat> location independent nomadic entrepreneur. So Tony, thank you so much for joining us. We are so excited to chat with you. Um, and we're just going to jump right in. Is there any, first off, is there anything in there that you want to add about yourself uh, that I didn't cover? Oh, in just a second. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Okay. Hi, everybody. It is such an honor to have this opportunity to share with you. And um, I'm very excited to be here in Midcoast, Maine, uh, staying with some friends tonight. And I'm really, really excited to share some things from my heart that I am hoping will help you. Excellent. Thank you so much. So, Tony, I just want you to share a little bit because I know that you've been in other uh, network marketing adventures. And what was it about network marketing that appealed to you? And what, what, made you decide to go into network marketing and when about did you start that journey? Gosh, it was probably in the early 90s. I, I was part of another network marketing company and I was just really excited about network marketing um, and that the whole concept of it. Um, and I really couldn't get that business off the ground, but then I was introduced to Shackley. <laughs> And tell us a little bit about that. How were you introduced to Shackley? What, what was it that brought you in and a little bit about that journey? Yeah, so, you know, it was kind of interesting. I was um, a stay-at-home mom. I had a three-year-old. Um, Shackley really came into my life at, at the perfect time. Um, and, you know, at the time, I was not feeling well. I was really feeling kind of miserable. Um, I was okay in the morning, but by the afternoon, I was just really wiped out. And back in those days, I would be laying on the couch, 
I would have my three-year-old in front of the TV and I would just like lay the, like in my mind, if I could rest, I could get the energy that I needed to do, you know, cook dinner and do the laundry and all the things that you got to do. Um, and I can remember going and visiting friends and telling them how miserable I felt. And finally, a friend from church approached me and suggested maybe I might want to try this vitamin program <laughs> that she was doing that made a difference for her. And um, I really gave her a hard time <laughs> about it. And, and I told her, look, I'm like, look, Alicia, I am buying these good vitamins from the health food store. And then I really got to think about it. I'm taking those vitamins and I'm still on the couch. So maybe there is something that I need to do differently. And um, I started on the program that she said, uh, which was basically the vitamins and the protein. And I really felt such a difference um, within about a week and a half. And if you could have seen me back then, I mean, my skin was kind of all pasty gray. And I mean, I really looked sick. Um, so after about a week and a half, I had this experience where I was running up the stairs to the second floor of my house. And just before I got to the landing, I stopped and I was like, okay, when was the last time I did that? <laughs> and that was really, you know, a turning point for me because from that point on, I got my whole day back and I began putting my little guy on the back of a bicycle and bicycling across town and going to the park and going on fun, you know, going and doing fun things. So I knew there was something really different about this Shackley stuff. So, and, and it has really, I've kept on my program and it has just giving me the oomph that I need to do all the wonderful things, kayaking, hiking, adventuring. That's incredible. And <laughs> I know so many moms out there who felt that. And even from my own experience, I felt that too. And the difference is phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Yeah. And you know, it's so important because if you're not feeling well, it impacts every part of our lives. Mm -hmm. You know, the way that we interact with our family, um, everything. So it's been a big mission of mine to help people feel better, you know, feel better, feel just feel more vibrant mm -hmm. so that you can do the things that you want to do. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So um, you had a bit of a turning point with Shackley and there was a bit of a turning point once you started your business. So based on your experience, can you share a little bit about that and what some of the advantages are to running a business online as compared to, you know, the typical nine to five gig? Yeah, I, I want to share something that happened back in about 2012 that really helped me understand the power of of a Shackley business. And um, what happened was we had a family member get sick that, in, that was living in a different state. And we had to basically, this was in December, we had to drop everything um, really and go and help this family member. Um, and we were basically gone that month. I mean, for the whole month and we were back in time for Christmas. And during that time, I wasn't doing any Shackley, <laughs> but during that time, we had income coming in from our Shackley business, um, and that income helped to pay for our expenses, and when I got back, I really started thinking about this um, because, you know, I have had a traditional business where I make a product, and I do the marketing, and I sell the product, um, but if I'm not there doing that those tasks the money doesn't come in and so i realized that this shackley this multi-level marketing business this shackley business um really was giving us residual income and residual income means that you can be off kayaking on a monday morning when there's no boats around um, or you can go off on a Wednesday afternoon and go hiking. It just, the residual income, uh, it's priceless. It's absolutely priceless and gives you so much freedom in your life. It really does. It really does. We like to call that beach money, but now we can call it kayak money as well. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> There's multiple, oh. multiple names for it. So yeah. when you were looking at this opportunity, were there things that, you know, 
you thought were important? And if someone else was looking at an opportunity like this, what should someone look for in an online business? You know, I think the first thing is that you really like the products. You know, it is so easy for me to share because of that product experience that I just shared with you. So I think that's the first thing that you have to look at. Um, in my first uh, multi-level marketing experience, I really had a hard time promoting it um, because the products, I mean, they were good, but you know, shack, they weren't shackly good. <laughs> So I think, I think you really, you really have to love the products and have your own story about them. Um, that is really, really key. Yeah, it definitely makes a big difference when you can stand behind yeah. the products and, or even yeah. if it's a service too, um, it does make a big, big difference. So that's amazing. And now yeah. I want to go back to this amazing van of yours because I don't okay. think we've touched on this enough and okay. I have fallen in love with it. So tell us a little bit about the van and how you are able to do what you're doing. I mean, you're in Maine right now yes. and you've been traveling since like mid August and you're not heading home yet until November. <laughs> and it's Don't just, tell my family. No. <laughs> I won't say a word. It's already a little secret. And it just is incredible to see somebody be able to have that kind of flexibility and freedom and to have this amazing vehicle, literally vehicle, that you are driving around, but you're still doing your business. So tell us a little bit about that experience and that flexibility. And, and what are the tools that you're using to make that happen as you're on the go? Yes. So I used to um, travel in a Prius, which was great. I got fantastic gas mileage. Um, but traveling in that kind of wore me down because it would every night there would be a different place to sleep and um, you'd have to arrange that and everything. And I have been actually dreaming about this van probably since maybe 2013 when I saw the concept view of it. Um, and my van, so it's a Winnebago Travado. It's a tiny house on wheels. It has everything. I have a kitchen that I can put five people around a table. <laughs> and I can, have meetings. I can have meetings and have people come in and sit around my table. Um, I have a kitchen where I can cook healthy meals. And I've been posting about that on Facebook. Um, and there's, I have a, a bed that's very comfortable and a shower um, and a whole bathroom. Um, so a lot of times when I'm on the road, um, I work in the evening if I've had a travel day and I just set up my mobile office on my table. I have with me my iPhone, my iPad, um, I do Zoom meetings. I'm using my phone to follow up with people. I'm sending emails. Um, I can do events if, you know, if I choose to. Um, so, and I have, um, I do have internet. I have like an unlimited data plan. Um, and so that's very helpful as well. Yes, that, that especially is incredibly helpful. <laughs> that data plan, it makes all <laughs> the difference. Yes. So that's great. So, that's yeah. great. And there was another interesting story that you shared with me yesterday when we were chatting about um, some of the people that you've met. And there was one particular one that, well, two actually, where they had the same van as you. And just share a little bit about that experience and that interaction, because I know you're in a pretty small town of about 800 people. And as we know, in, in that small of a town, it's good to be able to expand. So being able to travel around and meet all those new people and make those new connections, just share a little bit about that and how that forms such an amazing bond. Yes, and, and I'll even share a little bit more. Um, so the two examples that I shared, um, I met a couple in Acadia National Park just like last week. Uh, we were pull, pulling in about the same time. We had an instant bond because we both had the same vans. Um, and we met up with each other at different places in Acadia National Park and really got to spend some good time together and sat together in our vans um, and got to know each other. And of course, you know, Shackley's just a part of who we are, really. Um, and so I got to share my story about, you know, my product experience and what I'm doing. And they were both retired. And well, they asked me, well, are you going to retire? I'm like, no, <laughs> you're never going to retire because I love what I do. 
and and then we just you know kept talking. I invited them um, to have free access to my wellness uh, center, which we'll talk more about that. And I connected with them on Facebook so that I can build our relationship more. So that's one example. Um, another example um, is I met a woman when I was in Oregon. So I was in Oregon in August and she also had the same band and we had that instant connection there and went for ice cream together and got to know each other more. Uh, we've been in touch. We've been texting back and forth. I've invited her to um, listen to different videos and um, you know, so we're just, we're building that relationship. She's just about ready to come into my business. <laughs> That's so exciting. So, <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, I am in New England um, now because I'm out meeting with people that are in my group, members and distributors. And, and then I'm out talking to people and meeting people. And the van just really helps make that very, very easy. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it gives you that nice comforting place that's like home where you're not, yeah. you know, upheaving because we all know what it's like to sleep in a strange bed. Yes, right? yes, yes. And being so, able to go out and, oh, sorry, yeah. go ahead. So I, I want to tell you guys this. I went out to Oregon last year and I loved it. I went out to the Oregon coast. I loved it out there. I met up with a friend that I uh, met in high school and then uh, she invited me to go back out this summer. So I went out in August um, and we hiked and we had a really great time. Um, and I decided last year that I would have a business <laughs> along the coast in, in, in uh, Oregon. And so I went out there, you know, to meet up with her and she joined my business and um, to just to go out and you know, talk to people in shops and, and just go out there and make connections. Um, you know, one of the great things about having a Shackley business is that you can have business wherever you wanna be, wherever you want to go and explore, you can have a business there. Um, and then you keep track of your miles <laughs> because it's a business expense to go out to where you wanna go and you're building your business. So that, that's a really, really important uh, benefit. So, and then, you know, I, I wanted to come out to New England and I have a pretty good group out here um, with some distributors. And so I've come out and I've done some meetings for them. I got a meeting tomorrow night <laughs> for, uh, for one of my distributors. I'm really excited about that. Um, and the van just, it just really makes it very convenient. Um, you know, and, and you can really, like I'm, I'm here at uh, Sue and Jeff's house. And I mean, I can literally be in their driveway and have my own space. So. And it's, a, and I want to just to point out, you made a very good point about the business expense when you're traveling like that, because that is one of those huge benefits with this. Even if you don't want to do it full time, the tax write-offs are incredible and save yeah. So yeah. much. So thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, and, um, and there's a, in the back office um, with uh, the Freedom Project. There is a fantastic tax webinar that Patty Reese did, where mm -hmm. she talked about that. Yeah. Um, and and you know personally, our travel, our mileage is one of our biggest deductions against our income to bring our you know our taxable income down. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, as we know with business, there's always challenges that you come across. It's inevitable. So what were some of the challenges that you encountered as you've been growing and expanding your business and, and doing it way, the way you do it? Um, some of the challenges. Um, I would say some of the challenges, it's challenging for me um to do group meetings now now we need to do that that's an essential part um but it is challenging to clean your house and <laughs> and do all the preparations and do all the inviting and and all of that um i mean it is essential that we do those things sometimes um but you know um you can our business is so flexible that you can combine the things that you love to do with your business. 
So, and I hope I'm answering your question, but a lot of times when I'm meeting with someone, we're out on a hike and we're just talking life things. And eventually we talk about Shackley um, or I'm meeting people for lunch. And eventually, you know, we talk about Shackley. Um, but, you know, I think that's, that it is important to incorporate our business around the things that we love and also to have something, um, some activity that we do, that we can do like on a daily basis that moves our business forward but doesn't wear you out in the process. That's the key. <laughs> so, yeah. So one thing that, that I do, and I can do this wherever, whether I'm on the road or at the house, um, is I, I do these three things. I invite people to something, like an event, like this event. Um, I invite them to watch, watch a, maybe a webinar replay that I thought was awesome, and I invite them to, to watch it too. And then so you invite, this is like a three-step process that I do. I invite the person, I share whatever it is that I'm sharing. So first I ask them, may I? Because <laughs> I think that you'll like this because I saw this and I thought that would be interesting to you. And then I share the link or whatever it is, and then follow up. What did you like? What mm -hmm. resonated with you? You know, let's compare notes because I watched the same thing and this is what I came up with. And what did you come up with? Um, and then kind of repeat. And so that is like a really easy uh, approach to building your business um, and, and educating people. And, you know, when I, when I do that consistently, my PV really goes up. Mm -hmm. I bet. I bet it does. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing that. And one, a couple more questions before we close. You know, I met you last or be, early this year, maybe end of last year. I can't remember if it was December or January. And that's when you started using the YFP tools and started really utilizing those tools. And how has YFP made it easier for you to do your business online? What has it helped you with and, and making you more efficient in what you do? Yeah, the, you know, there is no way that I would have the time to do all that we do, all that we have available to us as a business structure and support. There's just no way that I can do that myself. And, um, you know, I was finding myself, you know, writing up newsletters and, and, and then I kind of fell away from doing my emails, but you know, your freedom project provides this background structure that helps you to hold your business together, especially, you know, if you're off on the road, um, and the events are fabulous. And I was even creating a, a like online events. So now we have online events that we can invite people to and then share and then follow up. And we have wonderful articles that are going out um, to people. And, and you can use that same formula. They, you know, call them. Did you get this wonderful article? Did you see that thing about vitamin E? I thought that you'd be interested about that. Um, and so YFP just helps us to just be in the background um, supporting our businesses. Yes, exactly. It's the glue and it helps deal it's with the, the things that you, the things <laughs> that you just explained, you know, it's, it gives us events to invite to, it helps us with the follow-up. And as we know, the follow-up is usually the most challenging, but that's where most of your business lies too. So it makes all the difference. Thank you yeah, so much yeah, for sharing that. And I could never, I, I would never have enough time to recreate all that we have in the Freedom Project. Mm -mm. Me either. So, yeah. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think most people have that kind of time because it's, you're wearing so many different hats when really what we need to do is the inviting, the following up, and, and that's really what our job is. We don't need to be graphic designers or copywriters or anything like that. So. Yeah, it really allows us to just go out and to connect with people. Um, and then, you know, once the connection is made to educate them and all that. So, yes, that's great. So before we close, I just like to ask you, what would you 
recommend or do you have any tips for people who are interested in starting their own online business? Do I have any tips? Um, I think my first tip would be to really know why. Why do you want to do this in the first place? Mm -hmm. I think that is super important um, because that pulls you through all the hard bumps <laughs> that you're going to go through. So, you know, really know what it is that you want to do. Um, and then, you know, just start. Just start and never stop. Um, and figure out what works for you. So, you know, what works for me is, is bringing people along on my adventure and taking them hiking. And, and I love to cook, so I'm inviting them to brunches. You know, incorporate what you love in your business. And, you know, we, we're going about creating our own community, our own tribe of people that think the way that we think. And so don't be put off by people that won't join your business. Okay, <laughs> so because there are people that that are going to be thinking along the same lines as you um, and that will join you. Exactly, exactly. Well, thank you so much, Tony. And just before we before we are there any final words that you wanted to add in to this amazing <laughs> webinar and information that you've provided us tonight. Um, yeah, you know, we need to create a more vibrant life. We need to have that oomph to do the things that we want to do in life. We really do. Um, I, I have experienced that, <laughs> the opposite. And now, you know, Shackley helps us to really have the help that we need to go about doing the things that we want to do in life. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's one part. The other part is we've got to have the income to support it. And Shackley gives us the residual income to support that adventure. Mm -hmm. So we have Shackley, Shackley fills the bill for that, and then we have your Freedom Project to support it all. Exactly, exactly. That is amazing. And you were pinpoint <laughs> right on. And then Maura was just saying oomph. Oh, <laughs> Emphasizing oomph. the oomph. oomph. <laughs> so that's, um, that's incredible. So with that, everybody, I'm just going to wrap it up here. Got to push the right button. There we go. Come on now. There we go. So thank you everybody for joining. This has been so much fun to have Tony Parker here tonight to share her incredible adventures. If you haven't seen what she's been doing on Facebook and the cool places she's been, check it out. And you know, if you found anything of value in here, if there was anything in here that piqued your curiosity and you want to learn what kind of tools are available to you, what kind of opportunity is out there you want to get a, a good idea of what this is all about and what this type of opportunity can provide get in touch with the person who invited you to this webinar and they'd be happy to give you a guided tour of everything that this opportunity can hold for you and all of the options that are actually out there for you so with that again tony thank you so much for joining and everybody thank you so much for coming out and uh, and enjoying in this beautiful adventure